What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going over a super, super important CCIV update video. We did get confirmation of the vote day and the day we will start trading as Lucid Motors. Now we're going to go over a lot of data in this video from the short interest, how many investors have been buying CCIV and tie that all together. Why I think we will rally once we do merge into Lucid Motors or ticker symbol LCID. So we're going to go over a lot more than that in this video. The only thing that I ask is that you hit that like button and show some love for this video. Now, with that being said, let's get into it, guys. CCIV closed up 1.33% for the day and after hours up 0.79%. At the high today, we did hit 4.30% to the positive at $25.92. So nevertheless, a great day for CCIV stock. I will be going over my options and my exact position at the end of this video. So make sure to stick around for that. I think these are some great trades trades now as far as the ortex data uh, keep in mind this is the t plus two settlement time so most of this data not all of this data is coming back for two trading days ago so that would be wednesday but we do have a short interest change of negative 4.74 percent return shares of 5.18 million borrowed shares of 2.51 million so that is a borrowed change of 2.67 million so that's how many shares were actually covered uh, estimated current short interest at 19.23%. Current shares that are sold short of 39.81 million. So a massive amount. And something I do want to point out, we did have about a 5% short interest drop from the highs that I've been covering throughout these CCIV videos when we did hit that high of about 24.5%. Now, like I said, at 19.23%. But what is interesting here is the share utilization is at 99.94% still. So this means even after the shares were returned that were shorted or covered we are not seeing more institutions that are willing to sell these shares short indicating that a lot of hedge funds and institutions that do have these shares to sell short they don't want to meaning ccv is more likely to go up in the next coming weeks and months which is also what i have been saying on this channel for a while and you would have got some pretty awesome trades if you are following uh, this channel and these videos now as far as the actual news and what the what the date is for this so we do have as performed 425 filed by ccib with the sec today a special meeting of spac shareholders is now slated for the 22nd of july 2021 the primary focus of this meeting is to approve the merger agreement with lucid motors uh, it says the filing noted we're not going to read the filing it's essentially saying what I just said, but this does say the SPAC shareholders are widely expected to approve the merger agreement with Lucid Motors, thereby paving the way for the shares of the combined company to list on the stock exchange. Bear in mind that CCIV had previously intimated the 23rd of July as the date which the business combination agreement would achieve closure. So that is saying that is the merger day. We have known this if, like I said, if you follow this channel, you have known the 23rd of July is going to be the day or at least the most likely day that we will actually merge into Lucid Motors. So you guys had a about a week heads up before this happened to make any trades on this. Now, the reasoning why I think we'll rally after the actual merger does happen, besides the fact we've seen a lot of SPACs that take off as soon as the merger is completed, there's always that 1% to 5% chance the merger doesn't go through. And these shares, CCIV, are only backed at $15. So if you bought CCIV today at $25, the merger didn't go through, you'd be losing $10.38 per share. And if you are investing millions of dollars taking on a large position, you're going to be losing about 40 to 45% of your total investment. Even if you were investing $10 million, you stand to lose four to four and a half million dollars if the vote was not approved. Now we all know the vote will be approved, but that is not a risk most institutional investors would not be willing to take on unless they unless they got in at that $15 uh, pipe price, right? The private price. If they didn't, I don't think they'd be willing to take on that risk. And we see this from the Fintel filings, guys. We don't see a lot of people buying shares or institutions buying shares, but you do see a lot of call and put activity that is going on, which is exactly what I expected. Even take a look at Citadel. They bought shares at $16.60. They bought 2,280,000 shares at this price, but they have also 
also been buying puts and calls at $23.18. So this is a bit of a hedging strategy, but it's pretty much the same across the board. You see some people actually buying shares at $23, but not too many and not for millions of shares. They're buying a couple thousand shares, six, seven thousand, a hundred and ten thousand, twenty three thousand, eleven thousand, but not millions of shares, even like Citadel did. And that is pretty much what you see all the way down the list. So you are seeing this reflected in the filings from these companies, as well as just overall common sense. They're not going to take on this risk. And that's why I think you're going to see a lot of money flowing into CCIB after the merger is complete. And there is no risk of that 40 to 45% decline if the merger did not go through. As far as the technical levels to watch guys, ever since I did put this trend line on, this was June 22nd when we did hit this lower level of about $22.50. We have been rallying ever since in a very bullish uptrend. Now, as far as the key levels to watch to the upside, because I don't think there's any potential downside at this key stage since we did get these updates, but any potential downside, you're obviously gonna wanna watch this $22.50 mark to see if we were to break that. I don't think that's going to happen if we do break that that $22 mark is going to be some solid solid support but as far as potential upside we have to break out past this $25.80 level if we do with some momentum then we'll probably gap up over the 26 even possibly up to this $27.88 level if we break that guys we have pretty much zero resistance or zero credible resistance after that $28 level $33 could be seen as some level of resistance probably psychological but if we do get a short squeeze going on with people FOMO buying in and we do see options activity leading to a bit of a, a gamma squeeze as well then we could definitely blow past this $33 price point and then the next level of uh, resistance would be a psychological level at about $40 nothing too credible here above this $28 price point so anything is possible possible here guys uh literally we could go insane on ccv i don't think we'll go back to these 65 dollar highs but it is possible weirder things have happened definitely in the stock market but as far as my personal position and my trades in this my total market value of my uh, position in ccv as far as the shares four thousand eighty six dollars i am up 9.66 percent or 359 dollars 85 cents my average cost of 23 dollars 14 cents i own 161 shares 11.47 percent on my portfolio this is not a recommendation but i do think it's a great time to buy ccv and i'm continuing to buy ccv i think once the merger actually does happen you'll need a good month of digestion time to see where the might where the market does actually set the price in this with supply and demand obviously that dictates price so we're gonna have to see where that does end up being but i think right here you can't go wrong buying shares if you're buying them for the long term but as far as the options i have a ccv 30 dollar call i did buy this at 191 dollars this for august 20th it's currently worth 223 dollars i am up 16.75 percent or 32 dollars on this trade i really really like that one since it's closer to the money and i do expect us to go well past 30 dollars by the time we do merge and after the merger is actually done but i did do a ccib 35 dollar call once we did get this news about the the expected merger day being june 22nd i thought it was fair to say that by july 9th we wouldn't be at 35 dollars per share on ccib so i did sell this cover call at 120 dollars agreeing to sell 100 shares at 35 dollars if we close over 35 dollars by july 9th obviously that is not going to happen i am up 105 dollars on this trade up 87.5 87.5 percent so that is that trade i do have ccib 40 dollar calls as well spent 282 dollars i'm down 66 dollars over 23.40 percent i spent 141 dollars a piece on these and they are currently worth a 108 dollars now i do like this trade as well i don't know if we'll go all the way to 40 dollars but i do expect us to go over 30 probably to about 35 dollars these contracts will gain value uh in that time right probably double in price and then i would sell these out and switch over to either more shares or longer dated options i'm not sure maybe i'll do a mix of the two but i really want to get my share position up substantially from where it is at currently from my calculations by 2026 if they can pull off 22 billion in revenue per year like they have said then you will see a 20x from here that would put each share of ccib at about 470 dollars meaning if you had a uh, 3500 invested in this when i did the calculation that's all i had invested in this 3500 
dollars, that would turn into seventy thousand. If you had fifty thousand, that would turn into a million. So I really want to build this build this position out to about fifty thousand dollars within the next year or two. I don't know how well that'll do, but we'll have to see. And I'll be sure to update you guys along the way. But that is gonna wrap up this video. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel on your way out if you want more videos like this, as well as comment down below. I pay attention to the analytics and the comment section. So if you guys want more videos like this, I will be sure to bring that to you. Just let me know, as well as check out the link down below for public. Get up to $70 in your choice of free stock. No deposit necessary. No need to even link a bank account. If you did it right now, you would have your free stock in three minutes. Let me know what you get in the comment section, as well as check out the link down below for the buy and sell alerts. Every time I make a move in stocks, options, or crypto, you will be notified in real time. And we have been killing it over there, as well as join a great community. But with that being said, you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will see you later. Until next time, take care.